Hello everybody, welcome to Mirror Football's Champions League preview. Only one place to start this evening, uh, Manchester United versus Juventus at Old Trafford. Jack, all the build has been about Cristiano Ronaldo, and obviously so, he's making his return to Old Trafford, yeah. where he's been before with Real Madrid. But, um, you know, they, they love him there, don't they? And it's going to be an emotional occasion for him. That's right, Mark. A uh, really big game tonight. Probably the pick of the week's fixtures in Europe. I think uh, it's a real test for Juventus, I think. Whilst Manchester United obviously hosts and a big story in their own right, I think, for the, the entirety of a competition, this is really on Juventus. A test to see if they can go to a big club like United, go and win and prove that they're ready to take that step and win the Champions League finally. I think obviously big to get Ronaldo back from that suspension. We brought Bonucci back in the summer. Everything's there now. There's no excuses. Lost two Champions League finals in the last four years. It's all about winning this this season against all costs, really. In terms of Manchester United, um, obviously they've got their own sort of player playing against the old team and Paul Pogba. Um, the draw against Chelsea at the weekend, it, it sort of started off badly, then it got good, then it went bad again. They drew with Valencia in the Champions League before as well. They need a big result against a good team, yeah, and this yeah. is the perfect chance. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the crowd are going to be up for it, aren't they? Uh, the way United are playing at the moment, certainly when they go behind at least, that is a way, that's a style of football that Old Trafford is really going to warm to. Can they do it from the start, though? Do they need to go behind to sort of spark them into life? It's all, all down to Mourinho to sort of um, inspire them to go from the off here, and I'm pretty sure that the United fans will sort of spur them on. The, the lineup. I mean, is he bold enough to go with that sort of two-man midfield again? I'm not too sure. Juventus obviously much more um, experienced, more formidable side than Chelsea at this stage, so it would be a bit more risky despite playing at home. But I think United have got to go for it. I mean, United, Mourinho's hands are tied in a, in, in a way because everything in this squad is pointing towards attack, attack, attack. They're at home. It's a risky strategy, but it's one that could pay off massively. If United can win this game, it would be enormous for Mourinho. OK, uh, Manchester City, also an action this evening as well. They're away to Shakhtar Donetsk, one of those kind of stereotypical, difficult away games. But City, we, we, we know enough about City to know that they should be confident going there. Yeah, definitely. Like City, uh, in a similar situation to Juventus, their time is now. I think the way the uh, Champions League has developed, the usual suspects, they're all faltering slightly. Real Madrid and Bayern Munich look dreadful at the moment. Barcelona, obviously flawed and certainly nowhere near as dangerous without Messi, so who's injured at the moment. It's all about City grasping that opportunity. I mean, in a knockout competition, you can never be sure, but this is about as easy a chance as they're going to get to win the Champions League. As long as they avoid Liverpool in the knockout stages, I think they're going to be very, very close. OK, so it promises to be a fascinating night for both Manchester clubs, and uh, you can join us at Mirror Football to follow all the action.